In this screencast, we're going to show you how to upload a contact list to Qualtrics so you can send out a unique link to all your survey participants. From CenterNet, once you're logged in, before you click on the click here to log into Qualtrics in the new tab, if you scroll down, you'll notice there is a list of uh, faculty sorted by division or all faculty. There's one for staff and for students. So for this example, I'm going to send out a survey to all staff, but I want each participant to have their own survey so I can send out reminders or if I need to send out thank yous. And I can tailor that survey to that specific staff member. Once you're logged into Qualtrics, if you come up to the upper left corner and click on the three lines, your list, you can choose contacts. From here, we want to create a new contact list. So we're going to click on the green button that says Create Contact List. And then you want to give a name. So I'm going to say All Staff. And then I always like to date it so I know it's Fall 2021. So if I hit Next, from this list, I can either browse and upload a file. I can manually add a file or if I have results from another survey. Since I'm going to use the All Active Staff CSV file that's located on our CenterNet page, I'm going to go ahead and click Browse. And when I click Browse, I've already downloaded the CSV file. This file has their first name in one column, last name in a column, and email. So if I click Open, You'll notice in this new Qualtrics design that you'll get an error message that says missing fields. What we need to do is click on the show options here in the middle and change the delimiter to tab. And once you do that, you'll notice your first name lines up, your last name, and then the email lines up. And now I can click on add contacts. Once that contact list is created, I can click on View Contact List. And now I have up here, if I look, it says All Staff Fall 2021, which is my contact list. And then I have All Staff with their first name and last name. I can now go back to my Projects list and I can send up, set up my survey to send it to all the staff members in that list. Um, again, the benefits of doing a contact list in Qualtrics, it allows you to tailor an email to that person. It also allows you to set up uh, reminders so your survey will go out automatically and only those people who haven't responded will get that email message. For more information about Qualtrics or our other technology tips, check out our website at ctl.center.edu.